All right, Envision Chicago. All right, Envision Chicago, it is essentially a website. Here's how it looks on an iPad, and here's how it looks on a big screen of monitors. So let's walk us through it. Uh, give us an idea of what kids are doing, how it makes a difference, what are they accessing, what can they do. Now, that's it. We can't play that, but that is a little video that, what, explains yeah, some of the basics? That's what we're talking about here. Well, the coolest thing is that you can actually see what you are looking for. It is well designed. Look at the text, right? That is legible for people with vision impairment or people who are students and have great eyes but you can go and find issues that you care about and so these are different kinds of laws these are health laws these are chemical yeah. issues so for example right here right bpa free kids ordinance boom bpa is that the, the plastic in uh, water exactly bottles right. okay yeah. so you're you can download that. it you can comment and these comments go directly to clerk mendoza and to your alderman i mean this mm -hmm. is how government should work now it's sort of like crowdsourcing uh, policy, uh, legislation. For good ideas, that's right. So we want to hear from folks. So we'd say test it out. This is like, uh, it's brand new. We're launching it here in Chicago, and uh, there's no reason not to. Like, your opinion actually so matters. what is the perspective, though, that the general public has on laws? We're not experts in legislation, how policy works. What can we offer that might ma actually make a difference? We're a government of laws, not men or women. And the first step to realizing that is access to your laws and understanding it. This isn't just for students in Chicago, although that's where we're starting. This is your fundamental right as a citizen in the United States of America, and that's what Clerkman does. So brought any to of us city. could go to the website chicagocode.org yep. and sort of wade into what is the basic daily process of government and, yeah. and start understanding things. And be heard. Yeah, so it's not just the kids making uh, comments. Anybody can do it. Absolutely. Have you gotten an example of, of how public comment has made a difference? Absolutely. So when we, when we ran a similar initiative in the city of San Francisco, a young student who lived in a condo and whose parents didn't own an automobile found a law using SanFranciscoCode.org that prevented you from parking anything but a car in a condo space. Now, they didn't have a car. They wanted to put a bike there. That's a silly law that was outdated. And it was a student who was able to discover it, propose a, f a fix, and that the city you know, accepted. It makes me think that sometimes if you, as a city official, you're so close to it that That's you right. need somebody to have fresh eyes from the outside to see a whole different perspective on how laws actually affect real people. And you don't, you don't get more fresh than a 17 or an 18 year old. <laughs> Well, Plus, congratulations. Uh, let me just say, for the record, that it is no surprise that we politicians do not always have the best ideas. So, uh, we want to encourage the rest of the people that actually do and are affected by the ideas that we implement by laws. So, if something that is already existing in law, go ahead, take a crack at it, and if you think you could do a better job, or you, we should get rid of it, or we should amend it, or we should create something new, let us know. Chicago org or code.org. Seamus uh, Kraft, thank you so much. Susanna Mendota, the City Clerk of Chicago. Thank you. Congratulations. Let's do a follow-up in a year and to see uh, what changed.